O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, save your people, and mercifully hear us when we call upon you. Endue your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord because there is none other that fights for us but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us. Do not take the Holy Spirit from us. The Prophet Hosea, Chapter 7 When I would heal Israel, then the iniquity of Ephraim is uncovered, also the wickedness of Samaria. For they commit falsehood, and the thief enters in, and the gang of robbers of ravages outside. They don't consider in their hearts that I remember all their wickedness. And now their own deeds have engulfed them. They are before my face, they make the king glad with their wickedness, and the princes with their lies. They are all adulterous. They are burning like an oven that the baker stops stirring. From the kneading of the dough 
until it is leavened. On the day of our king, the princes make themselves sick with the heat of wine. He joined his hand with the mockers, for they have prepared their heart like an oven while they lie in wait. Their baker sleeps all night. In the morning it burns as a flaming fire. They are all as hot as an oven and devour their judges. All their kings have fallen. There is not one of them who calls upon me. Ephraim mixes himself among the nations. Ephraim is a pancake not turned over. Strangers have devoured his strength and he doesn't realise it. Indeed, grey hairs are here and there on him, but he doesn't realise it. The pride of Israel testifies to his face, and yet they haven't returned to Yahweh their God, nor sought him for all this. Ephraim is like an easily deceived dove without understanding. They call to Egypt, they call to Assyria, and when they go I will spread my net on them. I will bring them down like the birds of the sky. I will chastise them as their congregation has heard. Woe to them, for they have wandered from me. Destruction to them, for they have trespassed against me. Though I would redeem them, yet they have spoken lies against me. They haven't cried to me with their hearts, but they howl on their beds. They assemble themselves for grain and new wine. They turn away from me. Though I have taught and strengthened their arms, yet they plot evil against me. They return, but not to the Most High. They are like a faulty bow. Their princes will fall by the sword for the rage of their tongue. And this will be their derision in the land of Egypt. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town in Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin who was to be married to a man named Joseph of the family of David. And the name of the virgin was Mary. The angel came in to her and said, Peace be with you, to whom special grace has been given. The Lord is with you. She was greatly troubled at his words and said to herself, What may be the purpose of these words? So the angel said to her, Do not fear, Mary, for you have God's approval. For see, you will give birth to a son, and his name will be Jesus. His name will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the kingdom of David, his father. He will have rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How may this be? because I have no knowledge of a man. The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will rest on you, so that that which will come to birth will be named Holy, the Son of God. Even now Elizabeth, who is of your family, is to be a mother, even though she is old. This is the sixth month with her, who is without children, for there is nothing that God is not able to do. Mary said, I am the servant of the Lord. May it be to me as you say. The angel went away. In those days Mary got up and went hurriedly into the hill country to a town of Judah and entered Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, exclaiming with a loud voice, Blessed are you among women, blessed is the child in your womb. Who am I that the mother of my Lord should come and visit me? For the instant the sound of your blessing reached my ears, the baby in my womb leapt with joy. Blessed is she who believed that what was spoken to her by the Lord would be fulfilled. Mary replied, My soul exalts the Lord. My spirit has begun to rejoice in God my Saviour, because he has looked upon the humble state of his servant. For from now on all generations will call me blessed because he who is mighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. From generation to generation he is merciful to those who fear him. He has demonstrated power with his arm. He has scattered those whose pride wells up from the sheer arrogance of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up those of lowly position. He has filled the hungry with good things and has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering his mercy as he promised to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. So Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works proceed, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that by you, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. 
through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. The collect for aid against all perils. Lighten our darkness, we beg you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants around the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, tonight and for evermore. Amen. <laughs>